Hello folks, it's George Leoniak and welcome to New Geometry. Today I'm going to follow up on a series of videos I've done on Terence Howard's linchpin and discussing its relationship to sacred geometry. So I figured let's do uh, one more video on this and actually draw uh, it in the with new geometry techniques in the golden seat of life. So um, I'm gonna also have a free course, a uh, little mini course free over at New Geometry Courses where I draw this on the iPad. So you can uh, follow along there if you want to too as well. It will be a little maybe easier to see than um, what I'll do today. Okay, so we're gonna draw two forms in here today. We're gonna draw the uh, linchpin and the outline in the blue here and the Black is the uh, maple leaf that I have been discussing in some of those videos. Over at the site, I'll have a compilation of all those videos that I've done. Uh, you know, what you need for this drawing today, if you want to try it here, is, you know, let's just get our compass and straight edge pencil. And let's just draw it with the uh, golden seed of life. Okay, so we've done our seed of uh, life drawing there, and um, you know, found one of the foundation drawings in sacred geometry. And now we'll uh, add the golden ratio. Okay, just added the axes lines. Now we'll add in too much glare there. Let's turn that off. Maybe that will work better. Um, okay, so now we are ready to add the golden ratio circles. And like I said, if this is not showing up too clear in this video, I recommend going to check out the free course, which will be done on the iPad, the new geometry courses. So now I'll make the golden ratio circles in each of the starting circles. Down again. Okay, so now we have the basic layout. Just need a few additional lines by making two big triangles to help give us the locations we need to draw the form. So the technique is getting the golden seed of life is not too difficult and I lay that all out pretty easily. 
in the class at the site. Okay, now our template is complete and we are ready to go ahead and draw in the form. So I'll switch over to pen at this point. And just to show the golden ratio is between these two circles from here to here to there is a golden ratio division. Okay, so let me get my pen and we'll draw in the linchpin first into the sacred geometry template. So that line's gonna extend all the way up. So let's do the whole thing. When you make a form like this and put it into these eternal templates like this, part of a long history and future of geometry. Okay, so there are three lines. Let's go ahead and put the pentagons on from this perspective. And this is the view that got me interested in Terry's work in the first place, Terence's work in the first place, was seeing this image and realizing I have been drawing this in this golden seed of life pattern for a few years now before seeing a logo. All right, there's the Pentagon on the upper left. Now let's go ahead and do it over here. There's golden ratio circles that I added to the seed pattern for what's making this all possible. This is the template that makes the correction to the Metatron's cube. And there's a lot of number of templates you can do that with, but this is one of the easier ones that I found. Eh, and there's other easy ones too. This is a nice one. Okay, so there's the bottom pentagon. And that's uh, that's the linchpin form uh, drawn with the golden seed of life with the new geometry techniques. Here's the little model I made of it. And I love it when things work out like this. It's pretty much a pretty good fit uh, directly over top of the, uh, the form. Now, this produces a golden hexagon, like I explained in my videos that you're seeing. That's what's on the base plane there. And essentially, this would be a golden hexagon truncated tetrahedron. Um, but I have so much on the other videos on this. Um, but this is how you go from 2D to 3D and back and forth, vice versa. Sacred template, geometry templates with the drawing with their own two hands allows us to do that. And that's why I've emphasized in those videos that this helps uh, integrate this into a larger, this form into a larger pattern language. Now, from my you know, discoveries of uh, working with it, um, what I did here was I created another form by extending the lines beyond this golden point to produce the whole hexagon, creating this form called the uh, Maple Leaf, which also fits on our template uh, nicely like that. So this is the Maple Leaf form that you can see me uh, describe in the videos that I've produced recently. So this is a you know relatively easy to draw. Remember, all it's extending is the line. Um, it would be a flat plane. So let's just draw in these hexagons. 
We'll do it in a different color, blue. So this maple leaf is, I mean, essentially another way to look at what information is provided in the seed of life template. And as I showed in those videos, it could basically construct the whole seed of life, extended flower of life as a whole continuation of these interlocked maple leaves, which would include the linchpin within it at various different locations at those golden ratio segments. And they're sharing, of course, the same central black edges I did prior. Just regular old little sacred geometry to do this relationships for the linchpin and this maple leaf. Another way to look at the same pattern. I know there's straight lines on this, um, but there's also a lot of circles and a lot of vesicas and curves within this. It can easily look at every straight line as the trion rays or curves. This is the line of energy between, you know, through those curves. Okay, so for this, all we have to do here, because this segment stops at this point, we want to just extend it up to the top, because that's the correct height of the maple leaf form, like so. So we'll just do a little extension there. And down at the base. There we go. Okay, so there are the two um, together, easily drawn. And the next thing uh, we'll do is let's just uh, really illustrate that the foundation of this going across these pentagon faces, predicated by the tetrahedral structure at the center of this, let's go ahead and just draw in the lines of the equilateral triangle. That would be the tetrahedron at the center of the drawing. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and there it is. There is the uh, hand-drawn version of the uh, maple leaf with the linchpin, okay, the new linchpin as I call it, is slightly different as I described in the videos. Um, and uh, with the tetrahedral, tetrahedron illustrated here within the diagram being the foundation of both of these structures. And just to show one more time, I don't have to, I'm not doing any slides today. I've done enough of those. You check out all the videos to learn more about these forms as, I, as I've worked with them. This is would be the tetrahedron, the gray duct tape to hold those uh, space clusters, Michael Evans space clusters warps in there. So you can see when you hold it like that, it almost turns into circles. And this is the other model once again, linchpin model with the uh, Pentagon faces that have 109.5 degree angle here. Uh, let's see, 108.5, uh, I think down here and 106.8 degree angle there. But all these edge lengths will be in golden proportion to one another. And that's the cool thing about this structure and design constructed with this new geometry uh, technique of constructing the form and drawing the form. The both are united and unified in one. So once again, I thank Terence for the cool inspiration on, you know, for me to dive in, explore this, this form that I've been exploring for the past few years. 
Um, and now finally, it's really started to click for me. So I appreciate all the uh, all the inspiration that he provided and uh, thankful for all of you who checked out this video. And just once again, a free course, which will have all the YouTube videos in addition to the iPad version of this drawing, which will help maybe see some missing parts there um, that you may have missed here. Go check it out. Experience sacred geometry hands-on to get into the practice of doing it. And I'm thankful this form is easy enough to draw and really highlights the importance of the golden proportion, golden ratio, especially this golden seed of life pattern, which I've spent so many videos um, uh, describing, really has significance to for me, bringing Terence's form into a sacred geometry template that can be reproduced uh, for millennia now. Okay, so um, much love and appreciation. Thanks for joining me for this video. And uh, please subscribe if you like it. And I'll be back with some other videos, probably on some different topics now. Um, but I just wanted to close this one more out. And uh, until next time, see you then. Bye-bye.